Welcome back, my bug experts, to another episode of Grounded. Obviously, Thursdays and Fridays are our Grounded days, so I'm thankful that you're here, you're present, you're ready to go. Last time on Grounded, we activated the little science thing in the middle of the thing. There wasn't a lot that happened last time, to be honest, or to be fair. Did happen to peep a spider, and ants were not safe. <laughs> last time. But I think what I really want to do is maybe challenge some bigger enemies, maybe get a little explorative, 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 and go check out what happened at the base of that tree. Problem is, last time I've played Grounded, I just remember and recall times where the tree just was like a bad area. It's like spider infested. So I think we're gonna go ahead and make that journey here and today to go ahead and check out that science lab. Maybe advance the story a bit more. Um, I have a little bit more building ideas I really wanna um, execute here. If this is your first time tuning in, as always, I'm so appreciative to have you here even if it's for a short while. We upload every single day, whether that be YouTube shorts or full on videos. Mostly survival, I'm trying to tailor the channel a little bit more towards survival content with the obvious occasional let's play. Right now we're doing the wolf among us so please stay tuned for each and every episode that's released every single day and let's go ahead and jump right into grounded if you like any of what we do in this video you know as the video goes on please consider subscribing to the channel obviously liking it physically you know hitting that thumbs up button you always have to mention it just because your channel will never grow if you don't um has anyone else seen that netflix show to catch a killer it's got like three seasons it's usually like four episodes per season i'm a person that doesn't like to glorify or give credit to uh killers i don't like their name to be spread i don't i don't like this like weird obsession that everyone else has about like putting that their content out there because i i'm under the impression that if you continue to give serial killers you know you keep you continue to like put their name out there they're just going to that's what they want that's why they do it that's why they do what they do is so that they can live on in memory and fear and i don't i don't like that mantra i don't like the idea that you know people and and documentaries make these shows strictly like the jeffrey dahmer one like the like remakes I hate them. I hate them because it, it glorifies, if not tells the story from the perspective of the killer. But To Catch a Killer is really interesting because it tells the story from the perspective of like the detectives and how they went about trying to catch these these horrible people. And uh, what I like about them is that they always, they have been coming to the conclusion of, of, of being caught. So the killers usually are caught by the end of the episode, which I'm usually really happy about. But I always find it's interesting to figure out how they were caught or what resources were available at time of capture or if there weren't any resources at all. How did, you know, how did departments go about catching these people what's up weevil this guy has been stuck in the ground since starting this game <laughs> since this playthrough so we'll, we'll leave him where he is i want to get more gnats um but i think since it's now just becoming the daytime i think i want to go and check out the how do i zoom in and out i think the tree is like right here let's uh, go wait is it over there? It's really hard for me to see. Ant must kill. Kill ant. Let me know if any of you guys have seen that show, though. Uh, to Catch a Killer. I've, I've really pleasantly enjoyed, um, you know, watching, you know, the bad guys get caught. I'm all about that kind of weird stuff. Just make sure that they get justice. Man, it's, it's uh, some of the episodes are really hard for me to digest. It's all very sad. Can we break this? <laughs> Oh, I need a digging tool? Oh, well, we could we could get that. Easy. I wanted to go over this way, though. <gasps> okay, well, then how does one get to the tree? Is that a tree? That's not a tree. How does one get to a tree? I can't see anything. I'm like the size of a, of a pin drop. I'm gonna try to climb up here. See if I can find the tree. Okay, well that's that's clearly not a tree. That's the tree. Really? It's over here? I thought it okay. Um that's that's where we wanted to go. Alright, let's do that. Let's go. Let's not go towards that direction. <laughs> they put snails in this game? Hello? Snail. 
I'm a bit nervous. I need to be looking out for water on the way. I wanted to apologize in advance for how late my videos have been getting recently. They've just been, I, I tend to work out early in the morning um, or I guess earlier. It's not usually super early but earlier in the morning and then I like to kind of, you know, put a face on and then it's very ritualistic. <laughs> uh, no spiders? But I will, I'm definitely working on, I'm uh, definitely, definitely, definitely working on trying to improve and uh, make sure that I'm not getting out super late. Pretty sure that there are spiders around here, clearly. Man, they are just big and ugly and bad. What the heck? I didn't think that they went in there. I th I thought that they I thought that only the wolf spiders were in there. Oh, I'm starting to get goosebumps. I don't really want to be out here this late at night. Uh, it's eventually going to be nighttime, so we might need to I'm trying to find a way to not <laughs> jump down. <laughs> I think I trapped myself. I want to wait for that other spider to come back because I, I think they do like loops. Oh god, okay. I just got shivers. Ladybug, get out of here! Do you know what this area is? This is a spider infested area. Last time I've played this game, it was obviously still in beta, but the biggest thing that I remember doing a lot of the time was just like cheesing the spiders because they would get stuck. Um. <sighs> I need to do something here. I need to, I need to, I need to get down here. <laughs> I do not want to be out with the spiders. Uh, and I just remember the spiders constantly getting stuck on the trees. So I would use the trees as leverage points. So I'm hopeful, uh, that the, I can still do that. I can still cheese the spiders out. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I want to see if I can still cheese the spiders out, uh, getting them stuck on the... Or if they've patched it. If they patched it, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that was kind of my thing, was I just... I'd, I, they would respawn every day, and I would come up. I would, I'll show you. I'll show you in just a second. This, this was my spot. Right here. Oh God, look at those bad guys. So I'd stand like right here and I would just pelt them from here. So if they fix that, I don't know what I'm gonna do to try to kill these guys. They come out at night and in dusk time. So <laughs> we gotta be careful. <laughs> these guys are so ugly. Hey, get out of here. This is not your home. Woo, we did it. We're in. That glowy thing looks like some real nerd stuff. <sighs> I'm hoping that it becomes daytime. <laughs> um, while we're down here, so we don't have to deal with those ugh, spiders. Leaving's gonna be tough. Warning: hostile presence detected. Like what? Me? I'm not hostile. This all looks so different. Hello? I've got you. Don't worry. It's Burgle. <laughs> science manager for this project. I am also a robot. No. I'm sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Yeah. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to know <laughs> much of anything. Useless. A power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. So was it our fault that we made him corrupt? Uh, how come I can't remember anything? You and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform. He's telling me nothing new. This... No. That is so much dialogue. Holy... That was a lot. And his voice is really 
a lot. So I apologize if any of you guys wanted that information. <laughs> but I was not about to listen to... Do you know how many times I clicked that button? Like 30 times. That was 30 things of dialogue. No, thank you. 30 things of dialogue? That is so much. Oh, look at that. I will take this. Thank you. Thank you. Robots have no need, so I will be doing... Always happy to see your pal. Can I help you today? Uh, questions. Away, what is ominent? What should I be doing now? Do you want my advice on how to get home? Uh, what's the next steps to get home? What would you do without me? advice, if you want to get home, is to find all of my super chips in the other labs in the yard. Okay. Dr. Tully backed up my memories on super chips. And in theory, my restored memory will assist in repairing the spacer. Unfortunately, as I said, the only lab location I do remember is the hedge lab. Uh. Near the southeast corner near the house. Yeah, I remember the hedge. The location of the super chip is on your Tell me what else I should be doing. First, build a good base to call home. Survival is important. For your success, you are going to be here for the foreseeable future. So second, keep foraging for new materials and analyze. And lastly, check out the ASL terminals for additional work. <clears throat> Quest to help me out. <laughs> you work. Uh. Okay, cool. Um, uh, super duper requires a duper disc. Can you do anything else for me? No. Um, bu 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 oh, biometric scanner. Oh, sorry, I forget. I have to hold. <laughs> up the old decks. Uh, ASL terminal in the Oak Lag. Retrieve a super chip for Burgle. Purchase an upgrade in the science shop using the ASL terminal. Yes, please. Locate the hedge accent. Okay. Ascent. 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 <gasps> Amber! Look! So much stuff in here. This is beautiful. So I could literally just come in here and sip that water all I want. Uh, warning. Air. Ooh. Black Ant Hill. Oh, it's showing the difference. Gotcha. Uh, the hedge. Hostile presence detected. That's what we're that's where we need to be. <gasps> science. 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 This morning I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. What? Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. This guy is like a evil scientist. The network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Got it. Okay, so it's pointing towards the hedge, and I really wanted to open whatever this is. Weird. Maybe the weevil meat's going bad. Oh, it's raw. I might die. I didn't realize I was eating raw meat. Shoot, shoot. Okay, did I fix it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I didn't, didn't realize it was raw. I don't know how to get to this little sh science shop that it's telling me about. Oh, is this it? ASL? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so Burgle Quests. Uh, tadpole. Okay. I don't think we can kill a tadpole yet. Create a gas mask. How much science do I got? We got lots of science. Smithing station. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. Multi-story basis. Yes. We've got 1,000 science left, so sign. Uh, we can only do... We can't do any of these. We can only actually do cooking 101. Let's do that. Let's uh, take care as to not die on our way out. Drink some water. Yeah, it is definitely nighttime. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could, maybe we could peep, peep a creature. All that up there looks brand new. 
they couldn't so when i was playing they hadn't finished like the upper yard yet um they'd only come out with like a little bit of the upper yard so very interesting stuff i am excited to do more exploring i don't want to go out that ant's got some moves where are you ant <gasps> peep how do i right here peep creature all right, I peeped it. I peeped it. Practice list: deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Red the ants. Ah! Ah! Leaving. Leaving. Interesting. So this has like a direct connection to the red ant hill, maybe. Oh, oh, that, <laughs> those are spiders. Those sounded like eight legs all marching. Oh man, that was, uh, like, I don't have arachnophobia. You know, one time I did hold a spider once. There are some like pet shops that'll let you hold tarantulas or I don't know what I did, but it was like a place that specializes in like holding spiders. I like, I held the spider like right in my hand uh, uh, and it was wow very surreal <laughs> my life just flashed before my eyes <laughs> it kind of negates everything i was literally just talking about wow that was nerve-wracking he was coming right towards us too you could just hear them walking around up there you guys might not be able to but i can it they're like dun, 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 dun. it's like all all of their legs just working on tandem i hear him i think he's coming gotta get them all Okay. Yeah. Resistancing. Ah, oh, that is super interesting. Resistance to fresh. Resistance to stabbing. So if I actually fight the spider with an axe, it actually will take on more damage. I didn't know that. I still prefer to... <laughs> I still prefer to use bows. I don't want to get up close and personal with that thing. Just because I now understand and I'm not as scared does not mean that I want to go head to head and axe to axe. Or I guess axe to limb with those things. <laughs> Come on game, I gotta go home. All right, I don't hear any loud footsteps. So let's just take this real nice and slow. Mr. Ladybug, is it safe? Run! Alright, they're asleep. We kind of picked like the perfect- Okay, I picked the perfect time. You guys didn't help at all. Perfect time to get out of there. Alright, home. I've missed you. Dude, this leaf does not stop growing here. Um, Let's pull all of our stuff away. Oh, hey! I can buy stuff from like here. It's perfect. I can see it now. We'll build up like this so we can build it high enough and we can make a zip line that goes all the way across the yard. And with that, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Grounded. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you ended up liking the video, even just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. And of course, like liking the video, as in physically liking it, putting that thumbs up, and I'd really appreciate your love and support. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our Let's Play days. Mwah.